Good evening. Hello, how are you? Jose Norbert, Yanira Guadalupe, Pamela, Pedrina, Karina. <clears throat> how are you doing? Everything nice? Yes. Yes, everything okay. Thank you. Hey, that's wonderful. Nice to know, Pam. Nice to know. Okay, I'm going to share. Good evening. Good evening, my friend. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Jose Carlos. Thanks. Yes, good evening, Janira, Jose Norbert. Okay, everybody, good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening, my friend. Okay, let's begin. Um, Today, tonight, we're going to be working on verb agreement with uh, complex subjects. We're going to be working uh, on this. Tonight is November the 23rd, and this is class seven. Let's begin. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. The general, this is the general objective and these are the specific objectives and this is the class objective for tonight. Students will be able to describe the strategies of product. This is the agenda for tonight. Okay to be doing a completion exercise to begin, then a match. We're going to be matching sentences. And then we're going to be working on rules, the rules of agreement. And then we're going to do exercises. Once we finish, we have a discussion. So this is what we're going to be doing. All right, my dear ones, before we begin, uh, let me call roll. Let me call roll. Selmi Chavez. Okay. Ana Selmi Chavez, not on tonight. Okay. Ana Delmi Carranza de Guzmán. Not yet. Danny Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Not yet. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Okay, also. Eh, Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Is out. Guadalupe Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. It's very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Here, teacher. Welcome on board. Yeah. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Welcome aboard. Present teacher. Excellent. It's nice to have you back. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Verónica. No. Carlita is not with us tonight. Okay. Maria M. Catalina. Maria Emma? No. Okay. <clears throat> Martin Alexander Bonilla. Okay. Martin is not with us. And is present. present. And to me, Pamela. Yes. Hi, teacher. 
Ileana Gómez. Pedrina Ileana Gómez, no present. Present, present teacher. Ok. Excelente. Eh, Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Nice, very good. René Osvaldo Bonilla. With us. Ok. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Ok. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. And uh, Rudy Josué Flores. Rudy? No, not with us. Well, uh, Aniselmi Selmi Cheves is here. I am here. Good evening. Dan Okay. So, okay, let's see. Let's continue. President teacher. <laughs> yes, Danis. Welcome on board. Okay. Okay, we're going Thank to begin you. by completing these sentences. So, going to, it says complete the words, complete with the words at the top. Cause, connect, drink, uh, live, open, speak, and take. And of course, uh, if it's third person with the corresponding S or ES. Okay. Volunteer for number one. Who'd like to do number one? Me, teacher. Yes, my friend. Please go ahead. Okay. Tania speaks German very well. Okay. Very good. Tania speaks German. And he speaks German very well. Okay. Number two, who like to okay, do? I, 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 teacher. Yeah. I yeah. don't often drink coffee. Excellent. Very good. I don't often drink, drink coffee. Very good. Nice. What about? Teacher. Yes, my friend. The Squinny Pool, uh, they up. Seven um, point thirty very morning. Every morning. Uh, what verb did you say? What verb did you choose, my friend? If tape opens, right? Opens. Yeah. Opens. 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 And you pronounce it. Swimming, so the W sounds like an U. Swimming, the swimming pool. Open. Open. Okay. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. The swimming pool opens at seven thirty in the morning. Okie dokie. What about four? Would like to do four? Oh. But Me. driving. Sorry. No, it's okay. You. <laughs> Thank you. But driving causes many accidents. Causes. Yeah. Bus driver causes. Teacher, you're missing an E. Yes. Causes. Okay, very good. Bus driving causes many accidents. Okay, okay, okay. My parents live. My parents live. Live. Uh -huh. My parents live in a very small flat. Teacher, what is a flat? Apartment in British English. Apartment, okay. Flat. My parents live in a very small flat. Okay. Let me see, what about number six? The Olympic Games. 
is a uh, take take place, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The Olympic Games take place every four years. And number seven, the last one. Connect. Connect. Hey. Panama, Panama Canal Connect. Canal Connect. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Mm -hmm. Connect the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Very good. Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay, dokie. Now, my friends, we get to the second part. Second part, we need to match. Match, which sentence goes with which? Okay, which sentence is after the first one? Letter F. Okay, would you please read them, say them? Please don't make so much so much noise. I'm trying to work. Absolutely. Maybe. Yes, that's <laughs> correct. Yes. I'm trying to work. Okay. I'm trying to work. Yes, I'm trying to work. Number two. Who like to do two? Uh, I need to mm. eat something soon. I am getting hungry. Absolutely. Yes. Neither you. Letter, Letter e. e. Yes, that's right. Letter E. Very good. Okay. What about number three? I don't have anywhere to live now. I am looking for a, an apartment. Absolutely. Yes. I'm looking for an apartment. Okay, sorry, this had to be green. Another type of green. Okay. Um, how about four? Yes, my dear ones. Uh, we need to leave soon. It's uh, starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Mm -hmm. Yes. We need to leave soon. It's getting late. Okay. It's getting late. All right. Number five. What do we say for five? They don't need their car anymore. They're trying to sell it. Exactly, they're trying to sell it. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good, yes. What about number six? Letter H. Letter things. Okay, would you please read it? Letter H. Mm -hmm. Yes, my friend, read it, please. The company is losing money. Uh, would you please read the two sentences? Things are not so good at work. The, the, H, the company is losing money. Okay, very good, thanks. Okay, number seven. Who has seven? Me, teacher, it isn't true what they say, they are lying. Okay, very good. Yes, uh -huh. and uh, the last one we're going to get with uh, letter C. 
it's starting to rain? Absolutely, yes. Okay, very good, that's correct. Nice. So please don't make so much noise trying to work. I need to eat something soon. I'm getting hungry. I don't have anywhere to live right now. I'm looking for an apartment. We need to leave soon. It's getting late. They don't need their car anymore. They're trying to sell it. Things are not so good at work. The company is losing money. It isn't true what they said. They're lying. We're going to get wet. It's starting to rain. Okay, very good. So this is the second. Now let's get to task preparation. Okay, the task preparation, we're going to do it in the groups. Uh, we're going to be reading. This is, so you're going to be taking turns to read. Number one, two, three and four, and even five, and even six, and even seven. <laughs> okay. And even eight, and even nine. Wow. Yes, I know that is a lot. It's but, all. Yeah, not so much, right? Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to read the first all of the first ones, as far as uh, page 14, so that you don't have to read so much. It says, uh, here we're talking about agreement, rules. Number one, with fractions, percentages, and indefinite quantifiers, all, few, many, much, or some, the verb agrees with the preceding noun or clause, okay? With a singular or non-count noun or clause, we use a singular verb. One third of this article is taken up with a statistical analysis, okay? One third of this article is. Much of the book seems relevant to this study. Much of the book means a great extent of the book seems relevant to this study. Half of what he writes is undocumented. He never makes references or citations. 50% of the job is routine. All the information is current. With a plural noun, use a plural verb, okay? One third of the students have graduate degrees. Many researchers depend on grants from industry. Half of his articles are peer reviewed. 50% of the computers have CD, CD-ROM drives. All the students are current. And with a collective noun, use either a singular or a plural verb depending on whether you want to emphasize a single group or its individual members. Half of my family lives in Canada. Usually we say lives because half of my family at least have to be two or three or like that. Okay, half of my family lives in Canada. Half of my family live in Canada. All of the class is here. All of the class are here, preferably is here. 10% of the population is bilingual. Who you say more commonly are bilingual, okay? Then number two, the words majority and minority are used in a variety of ways. When majority or minority mean unspecified number, more or less than 
use a singular verb. The majority holds no strong views. A small minority indicates it supports the proposal. When majority or minority mean a specific percentage, you may use either a singular or plural verb. A 75% majority have voted against the measure or a 75% majority has voted against the measure. A 10% minority is opposed to the measure or are opposed to the measure. You may use either or. When a majority or minority refers to a specified set of persons, use a plural verb. A majority of Canadians have voted for change. A minority of the students are willing to pay more. Three, expressions of time, money and distance usually take a singular verb when they are treated as, a, as an, an amount, right? Say like $10 is a great deal of money to a child or in a child's hands. 10 kilometers is too far to walk. Six weeks is not long enough. Six weeks is not long enough. Number four. Such I'm sorry. Teacher, the last sentence, why, yep. why is the singular verb if you refer six weeks? Yeah, the thing is that you're talking about the total, the number of weeks. So it's a, it's a, in that case, it's a number of, you consider that singular. You say, for example, um, hey, how much did you pay for your haircut? $25, nah, $25 is too much money for a haircut. $25 is too mm -hmm. much money for a haircut. You say, hey, where do you live? Like about seven kilometers from here. And do you walk all that distance? Yeah, every day. No, but seven kilometers? is too far for me to walk. Okay. Kilometer uh, is. It's a specific in expression, the time, money, and distance. Sure, exactly. Only specific. Yes, okay. when you're talking, up, you're talking about the, the number in that case. Okay. Same for your clarification. Uh -huh. Sure. So this is expressions of time, money, and distance. Usually take a singular verb. $10 is, 10 kilometers is, six weeks is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Adjectives preceded by the and used as plural nouns take a plural verb because they are making a generalization. The blind need to be protected. The blind need to be protected. The poor will, okay, the poor uh, need help. The poor need help. So the poor, but you use a plural verb because you're talking about, I mean, all of us are poor. <laughs> so a lot of people, right, included. So you use like that. The blind, all of the blind people. The poor, all of the poor people. The rich all of the rich people, okay? The beautiful, all of the beautiful, <laughs> the ugly, including me and all of, the, <laughs> all of the, the ones that are ugly, okay? So you say the ugly, okay? So I say like that in general. So we use the rich get richer. The poor face many hardships. The poor face many hardships, okay? Number five, expressions using the phrase number of depend on the meaning of the phrase. For example, the number of takes a singular, singular verb, but a number of takes a plural verb. A number of, we don't know what the number is. The number of is a specific number, takes a singular verb. So for example, you say, 
they take a singular verb when referring to a singular single quantity. The number of students registered in the class is 20. The number, the number of students registered is 20, right? They take uh, plural verbs when they are used as indefinite quantifiers. A number of students were late. How many? A number, we don't know how many. It's indefinite. Uh -huh. uh, the number is a specific. A number is more general. We don't know how many, it's indefinite. Okay, so, so far as I'm going to be reading. Now you're going to be reading from 15 to 17, I think. Let me see, 15, 16, and 17. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to read the other one. So you're going to be reading as far as you're going to be reading 15, 16, and 17 only. Three pages. Okay. So we're going to do that in the groups. When you get out, I'm going to continue on page 18. Okay. So you're going to read as far as eight, number eight. Okay. So let's create the groups. Tonight we are 18. Okay, it means 17 people plus me. There are some people who didn't show up tonight. Okay. So let's make five groups. The groups have been created. All right. Let's let's go to the groups. Okay. The groups are opening. Please, everybody, enter the groups. Don Jose Ignacio, you may enter, and also Carlita, please. This is okay. Yes, this is the right. Yes, Danis. 
You say, Hi, teacher. teacher, we cannot present. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yes, you're welcome, my friends. Okay. The, um, the gear, the gear fears. <laughs> Ladies. Okay. Ladies. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Number one. Uh, if the subject is singular, the verb must be singular too. Example, she writes every day. Exception, when using the singular day, use plural verb forms. Example, the participant expressed satisfaction with their job. They are currently in a um, managerial role mm. at the organization. Continue, Karina. Uh, number two. Number if two. The subject, if the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. Example, they cry every day. Sometimes, however, however it's seen a bit more Complicate that this. Number three. Okay. Me. Okay. Okay, number three says, when the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and use a plural verb. Example, the doctoral student and the, com and the commute members write every day. Example, the person takes pronouns connected be unusual uh, plural verbs. Example, the doctor, student, and the committee member uh, write every day. Example, the person of employees who called in sick and the number of employees who less left the job which two years are reflect reflections best of the you know puedo leer ahí ay no sé qué es eso <laughs> ah okay a reflect of the live a job satisfaction Okay. Yes. Okay. Next. The next. <laughs> Number Martin. four. Ah, two, okay. Omar. Okay. Omar. Four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when there is one subject and more than one uh, one verb, the verbs throw, throw out the sentence much agree with the subject. Example, interview are one way to collect data and allow research, research to again an um, in-depth understanding of participants. Example, and assuming in something that is generally accepted as true and is an important consideration when conducing a doctoral study. When a price comes between the subject and the bird, remember the lines for potentially selected participant. Buen provecho, Carla. My thanks. Sorry. With the pronunciation of some words, so I'm going to help you with that first. Okay. For example, number six. Don't worry. Continue. Everybody together. Uh, together. You wanna, you wanna participate in the number six. We're gonna be leaving a check on the pronunciations that I'm saying. For example, this one okay. is face. When two okay. or more voice okay. is smoke. When two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or not.
Sorry, who is reading? Uh, Guadalupe, but I don't know what is that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I knew it. <laughs> okay, Guadalupe. <laughs> when Continue. two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, use, this, use a singular verb. Example, the chairperson or the CEO approves the proposal before proceeding. Okay, I'm here with the number seven. Mm -hmm. When a compound subject contains both a singular and a, and a plural noun or pronoun joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closest to the verb. This is also called the rule of proximity. Example, the student or the committee, uh, committee members write every day. Example number two, the committee members of the, or the student write every day. You can ask me. Ignacio. Um, uh, Carla is here. Okay. Number eight, me. Okay, 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 go ahead, Carla. The word is one, 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 is the one, to one, Examples: one, uh, diabetes, one, many people around the world. Example, the information, business, uh, owner was relevant to include in the study. Uh, example, um, the research I found on the topic was li limited. Uh, ten. Uncountable now since English, so is earning, earning goods, all DDEs, surroundings, process, context, and valuables only how a pro plural forms and take a plural bear. The earnings for this. Water excess expectation. Example: the process for the cells go to a sport to support the homeless population in the city. Example: a locating a produce good house to Albert's or shoulders. Supply chains. And number eleven is in sentences begin beginning with there is or there are uh, the should the should have flowers the birds since there is no the suggests the birds agree with what follow. Continue. Number number twelve. Collective nouns are words that that imply more than one person, but are considered singular and take singular verb. Some example are group, team, committee, family, and class. Example. The group meets every week. Example, the committee agrees of the quality of the writing. Okay, 13. However, the plural verb is used if the focus on the individuals in the group in this much, in this much less common. Example, the committee participate in various volunteer activities in their private lives. The end page. Okay, you finish, right? Okay, teacher, I thought.
Estaba aquí. Listening our English. Haven't seen me, right? Okay. It's here. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, my friend. Okay. So um, I'm going to check the others to see how they're doing. And then we're going to go to the main group. I'm going to explain some things before we okay. do the exercises. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Hey, good job. Very good. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome. Y este, este, porque este, este es como, como la unión de los dos, de este, así como está este. De each, each one, no puedo decir each two, sino que either, sí. neither, everyone. Either, uh, either, either. ¿Y cuál es esto, ve? Ever, ever, y ever, body. Ajá, es como... Uno, cada uno, unos, algunos. Ajá. Así, ¿verdad? Each, Algo así. each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anyone. Yeah. On the quality of the reading. Who wants to read the number 13? One volunteer. Oh. Oh, I You finished, right, my dear ones? Yes, we're finished. Excellent, Niñita. Very good. Okay, wonderful. Okay, then um, group one finished, group two finished. Group, group three, almost. And this is group four. So you finished. I'm going, we're going to go to the main group, right? Good job. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, let me see. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, the groups have closed. I'm going to read this last page and then I'm going to explain some of the main points in order to do the exercises. The exercises are not like, you know, that big deal that you say, wow, it's very difficult. No, not really. Okay, let's see. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. Okay. I will repeat. Subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects. So you say complex subjects. Some people, a lot of people, a few people, etc. The the quant the expression of quantity is some, any, a lot of, many, a few, some, 
etc. Okay? They take either a singular or a plural verb form, depending on the number, singular or plural, of the quantifier, depending on the number of the quantifier. Okay? So, um, over here, I would say not only depending on the quantifier, mostly these quantities depend on the noun that we are referring to. If we are talking about count nouns or non-count nouns, that is important to emphasize. Count nouns are the nouns that take plural forms. They exist in singular and plural, and they take an S when you make a plural form, unless they are irregular, right? Then uh, non-count nouns cannot be counted because they don't exist in individual units. They, they exist as mass, okay, like powder, or they exist as liquids, okay, like water. Water is uncountable. Uh, salt is a, like a powder, similar to a powder. It's, okay, salt, sugar, flour, uncountable, right? But then liquids such as water, refreshment, soda, coffee, etc., they are all uncountable too. Okay, energy like electricity is uncountable. The natural phenomena, all of them are what? Uncountable. So you say gold, or the metals, metals are uncountable. Gold is no golds are. Gold doesn't have plural or silver or iron or any other metal. Oh, we use silver with them. Okay, here. The first of the decisions has been made to go ahead with the plan. Okay, uh, first refers to one of the decisions. The first of the decisions, one decision. There are several decisions, but we're talking about one, which the first. Okay, so we use is. The first of the decisions has. Singular because the first is. Uh, one of the good things I like about working with you, with you all, is the effort you make to do the right thing. Okay, so uh, actually we say like this, one of the good things, how many, how many things, how many good things, one, one of the good things I like about working with you all is, one thing is, one good thing is, that's why it's singular, okay, then the other one some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy material are about the cost and quality. Okay, difficult decisions. We're talking about decisions in general, plural. Okay, so are. Okay, and then a majority and a number take a plural verb because they talk about an indefinite uh, number. Then you say like, a majority of product developers prefer to use blind tests. Okay, let me go to my let me go to my board and I'm going to explain some other things. Okay, my friends. Yes, we have used the board a lot. Yeah, the color is right, so let's begin. We say agreement. All right, let's see. Let's begin with first, with closet that begin with uh, germs. Eating healthy, is a single concept. Eating healthy 
is a single uh, concept. So you use singular form. Eating healthy is necessary for a better life. So, eating healthy is necessary for a better life. Okay. Now, teacher, what happens if I don't use healthy and I use apples? Eating apples is important. Eating apples is important. Hello, don't pay attention to apples, that apples is plural. Please pay attention to eating. Eating apples is one activity. So eating apples is important. Okay, what happens if we connect two items? Okay, we say, my mom, And my dad, my mom and my dad are dead. My mom and my dad are dead. So why do I use are? Because we have two nouns connected with and. So one plus one equals two, plural, right? So my mom and my dad are dead. Okay. What happens if I use like adjective clauses? The man carrying three boxes Teacher, you're missing an eye. Yes, missing an eye. Okay. So you say like this, the, the man carrying three boxes needs help. You say, teacher, but boxes is plural. I'm not talking about the boxes. I'm talking about the man. The man needs help. What's a man doing? Carrying the boxes. What's the purpose of carrying the boxes? I mean, in this sentence, I, I'm not asking why is the man carrying the boxes? No, no, that's not important. No, the important question is, what's the function of carrying boxes, car carrying three boxes in the sentence? We are Sorry. using it to identify the man. For example, teacher, in the case, the, the sentences uh, what was uh, the three boxes, uh, the three boxes car carry for the men, You're right? Yeah. The for three the men are heavy. In that case, we're, okay, here we're talking about the Run. Thing is the man and we uh -huh. I, we identify the man uh -huh. reduce this is a reduced adjective clause the yeah. is the man who is carrying three boxes He's, okay I have reduced this so I don't care about that I care about the man the man is what okay. we call the head word is the principal word is the nucleus of the subject. So okay. It's, okay, the man needs help. So thank the, you, teacher. And the example that you're giving me is also is fantastic. The boxes <coughs> that the man carrying the boxes that the man 
is carrying. Okay, so uh, why do I use is? The man is carrying them, not the boxes are carrying. No, so the boxes that the man is carrying are heavy. So why, why do I use, if I'm using the same uh, actors in the sentence, because I'm using the boxes and I'm using the man, why then do I use plural here? Oh, because now I'm not talking about the man, I'm talking about the boxes. The, the nucleus of the sentence is the boxes. So the boxes are heavy. The boxes are heavy. What boxes? The boxes that the man is carrying. The same as the man. The man is, the man is carrying three boxes, right? The man carrying three boxes needs help. What man? needs help the man carrying three boxes, right? So here we're talking about the man, so we use needs. Here we're talking about the boxes, so we use is, I mean, are. The boxes are heavy. Okay, another example. The lady The lady holding the flowers So you say the lady holding the flowers is waiting for a picture The lady holding the flowers is waiting for a picture Notice the lady is waiting how many ladies am I talking about? One lady. I'm not talking about the flowers. I'm talking about the lady. What's the lady doing? Holding the flowers. But what's the purpose of this part of the sentence? To identify what lady I am talking about. So you say the lady who is holding the flowers is waiting for a picture. What lady is, uh, is waiting for a picture? the one who is holding the flowers. So flowers doesn't have anything to do with the verb, right? Okay, another thing that is important, sentences that begin with what? I mean, subjects that begin with what? What I, oi, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm too fast. <laughs> What I hate about what I hate about pupusas, because you know pupusas are good, but you hate, I hate something about pupusas. They finish very quickly. <laughs> so I hate that. <laughs> so you say, what I hate about pupusas is that they finish very quickly. Okay, you say, teacher, why do we use is? Okay, I'm talking about, let us substitute what, and let's use the thing instead, okay? Let me see if I can do that. Okay, it's the same thing. What I hate about pupusas is that they finish very quickly. It's the same if I say the thing I hate about pupusas is very quickly, all right? So this is another thing. Now, what else? Words like each. Sorry, let me see. Each and 
each and every okay take singular nouns take singular nouns right we say each man each woman every man every woman okay and so what does that have to do with agreement obviously if you use a singular noun you have to have a singular verb each man is responsible for his each man is responsible for his safety each woman is responsible for her safety so then in that case is each man is each woman is every man is every woman is singular right and if you use neither in the case everybody is is singular teacher everybody my friends when we talk about this okay this is what we call indefinite pronouns I'm going to put here, thank you for the question. So indefinite pronouns are all singular. Uh, they are composed, they are composed by different elements. Let's put here every, uh, let's put here some, uh, let's put here, let me see. Anybody. Excellent, my friend, excellent. Any, one more. Every, some, any, and no, right? Okay, these four are combined by with two things, thing and with three things, let's say body and one. Okay, so then you say everything, everybody, and everyone. Everything, everybody, everyone. Something, somebody, someone. Anything, anybody, and anyone. Nothing, nobody, and no one. They are all together. When you bring them, they are all together. The only one that is separate, I'm saying the only. And only one that is separate is no one. No one is the only one separate. The others are one word, okay? And they are all what? They take singular verbs, okay? Everything is clear. Everybody is nice, right? Everybody is nice. And everybody okay. Everybody's okay, exactly. Everybody is okay. Now, the important thing here is if you are using any, you have to follow the rules of any. If you use any plus a singular noun, you are saying cualquiera. For example, someone asks you, hey, what bus do I take downtown? Take any bus, take any bus, take cualquier bus, take any bus. However, if you are using any with plural noun, you are using, okay, of course, it's not an indefinite pronoun, right? But this is the rule. You say like any people. I don't know any people. In this case, you are talking about negative things. Okay, it's anybody is affirmative. Ah, that's easy. Anybody can do it, right? That's easy anybody can do it that means cualquier person anybody anybody can do it however if you say i don't know anybody here i don't know anybody that is nadie no conozco a nadie i don't know anybody in spanish we use double negative don't know and nobody Okay, in Spanish we say no conozco a nadie. Nadie is negative. No conozco is negative. But in English, no. 
In English, we cannot use double negative. So we use, I don't know anybody. We cannot say, I don't know nobody. You cannot say, I don't know nobody. Well, in New York, you some, have... some is question, but, but which is your... My friend, some can be used in questions when you are offering or asking for a favor only. Like, can somebody do me a favor? But normally some is using questions like, can you get me some water? Okay. Or when you are offering, do you want some coffee? You expect the other person to say yes. Okay. Now, any is using questions. Is anybody, is anybody against the proposal? And everybody says no. We agree with the proposal. Okay. So that would be an idea. So remember, all of all of this, nobody, some, somebody, everything, etc., and or singular. They take a singular verb. Okay, so before people sing the song, carry it away, carry it away. So I'm going to change and I'm going to go to call roll because enough I will forget. Okay, let's let me call roll again. Um, Anaselmi Chévez, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present. Yes. Present and sorry. Carranza de Guzman. Okay, Danny Anthony Siguenza Ventura. Well, I saw him trying to connect. Anadelmi, I haven't seen her, okay. Uh, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. No. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent, my friend. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. I'm here. Excellent, my friend. Very good. That's nice. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Don Ignacio. Yeah, Present yeah. teacher. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. Buen provecho, my friend. Thank you. Jose Norberto. Don't worry. It's okay. Yes, Norbert is with us. Okay, he, okay. Maybe, maybe the microphone is not good, but that's okay, Norbert. I can see your hand. So, Norbert is with us. Okay, Karina Beatriz Diaz. Cari. Present teacher. Excellent, Niñita. Uh, Very good. That's nice. And our other Cari, Cari Elizabeth. Present. Yes. Present okay. Nice, Niñita. Very good. Okay, Carla Veronica Vasquez. I saw Carlita. Present teacher. Excellent, Carlita. Welcome on board. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Maria Emma Catalina. I haven't seen Maria Emma. Okay. Then Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. I'm here. Yes, excellent, my friend. Very good. All right. Before someone says Marvin, right? So Marvin is a nice name, powerful name, okay? You remember the boxer, right? Marvin, Marvelous Hagler, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Hello, teacher and present. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening, senorita. Welcome on board. Pedrina Ileana Gomez. Present, teacher. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Don Rene. I saw Rene. Uh, the schedule of the week in night, my brother teacher. Oh, okay. But I saw him. Well, at, at least this part up. I saw. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw him, but maybe. Yeah, he was connected in the same group with you, I guess. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. I saw him too. Present. Excellent, Richard. Welcome on board, my friend. Okay. Janira Guadalupe Gomez. 
I saw Jan. Yes, excellent. And uh, Rudy Josue Flores. I saw Rudy. Well, yes, I'm here, teacher, present. I didn't see him. <laughs> His hair is all, no, that's yeah. why he doesn't open the camera, but <laughs> uh, he's with us. Okay, excellent. So, nice, very good. Okay, so we're missing only two people, three people were missing. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, let's continue, my friends. Let me continue sharing. And you... Yes, Pame? Just say my name. Chula, of course I said your name. <laughs> You didn't hear, don't worry, it's okay. But you are present. You are present. Okay. So yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. I know that I'm present. I'm here, right? Okay. No, I'm saying I put you present on the list. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. So let me share. Ooh, what does it need share? Okay. Well, let me close this. Now, yes. All right, my friends, let's, let's continue. So, do you have questions about the indefinite pronouns? Okay, indefinite pronouns take a singular verb. Everybody knows, somebody sees, okay? No one wants, okay, et cetera. Now, words with neither, going to just, quickly because time is eating me. Okay, neither ignore, neither ignore, either ignore, both, and are called pair conjunctions. Pair conjunctions make the rule of proximity. The rule of proximity means that the verb agrees with the second subject, the subject that is closer to it. Check over here, neither, Neither the teacher nor the book. No, neither the teachers, plural. Let's put plural here. Only for my convenience, okay? So only for my convenience. Neither the teachers nor the textbook was wrong, okay? Okay, over here, I'm going to stop. I'm going to copy the sentence again. I am lazy, but okay. I'm going to put it here. Okay, you will see, in a moment you will see why. Neither the teachers nor the textbook was wrong. Okay, check. The second subject is the textbook. The first subject is the teachers. And the verb, this verb, agrees with the second, okay? It agrees with the second. So you say, neither the teacher nor the textbook was wrong. Okay, let's change the order. Let's change the position of the words. So, Okay, what happens in this case? Neither the textbook nor the teachers were wrong. Why? Oh, because remember the rule of proximity. The rule of proximity says the verb agrees with the second subject. The verb agrees with the, with the subject closer to it. That is the proximity. Okay, so the second subject is the teachers now. So teachers is plural, then we use where. Okay.
And even for this to sound less, to sound more weird, I'm going to make another one, but I'm going to change the pair. I'm going to be using not only, but also. Teacher, in the case of the example of the lady of the flowers, the rule is because this is only one subject. The head word, the nucleus of the subject is the lady. The lady. The lady is the yeah. nucleus, the nucleus or the head word of the subject. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in the last example, there are two, two subjects. subjects. There are two subjects. Mm -hmm. and then the rules is the verb um, is related to the, the closer Agrees subject. With the that is closer to it, proximity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely, you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Check over here. Not only my parents, my beautiful parents that I don't have anymore. So not only my parents, but also I check over here, my. I'm going to also copy this sentence because like I told you, I'm lazy. And then I'm going to put it here. Okay. And I don't have much time to continue explaining, but because we have the exercises, okay? And time is consuming really fast. I know that you are fast workers, but to faster here. So check out here, a relative proximity. The rule of proximity. This is the second subject, I. And I agrees with the verb am, um, the verb to be. Conjugation is am, um, but also I am. Not only my parents, but also I am happy in this place. So what happens if I change the order? Let me, let me see if I change the order of this. Okay. Let's, let's see. Bye bye. I'm say my parents. Okay, and over here I put I, the donkey first. Okay, mind you that the, the correct sentence is the, the, the original one. This is only for the purpose of change, of putting the subjects in different order, okay? This is the one because I should never come first. Others should come first. I is the second. So not only I, but also my parents are happy in this place. Okay, so what, I, what am I saying here? I'm saying that my sub, my, Second subject is my parents, and they agree with the plural form. Okay. Then I say, not only, not also, I mean, sorry, not only I, but also my parents are happy in this place. Okay. The last one that I'm going to explain because of time is. Uh, together with, as well as, etc. Okay, check over here. The general Okay, check over here. The general together with his army was received at the plaza. Okay, the general was received. Okay, 
we can move this to the beginning. Notice that it's between commas. This can be at the beginning and you can say, together with his army, Okay, together with his army, the general was received at the plaza. So we put the two sentences have the same meaning, only the order of the, of the factors is different, but then the meaning is the same. So expressions that you use here, as well as together with, mm, well, basically you have them in the list of, over there, okay. So, my dear ones, and one more, expressions like both, both always talks about two, okay? Both of them know the rules. Okay, both, let's say, both, both of them. Okay, the two girls know the rules. Both of them know the rules. Okay, both of them know the rules. Two people. Okay, what happens if we say neither, neither of them, knows the rule. Okay, neither of them knows the rules. Why neither of them is singular? Because this one doesn't know the rule. The other doesn't know the rule. Zero knows the rules. Zero knows the rules. Okay, so in that case, we use them in that way. All right, my friend. I guess, yeah, and there are a lot of things that are left, okay, are left without explaining, but okay, we have to do the exercises now. So let's go back to the exercises, okay. We have one, two, this is divided in two parts, and we have this one and this one, okay four exercises, but say divided in two parts. Okay, I, I want you to go and work on them. I hope that we have time to finish them all. So let's go to the groups. If you have any questions, you may ask, no problem you say like that. Okay, let's, so what pages are you going to work? All of the exercises. They begin on page 22, finish on page, let me see, on, the last one is page 27, okay? So, okay, let's begin. The groups are beginning. Okay.
they have they have the rules have, have no have not the right yet when you see some Hmm. The subject is of uh, is of the participant. Mm -hmm. Plural, right? It's okay. Plural. Some, some is plural. Ah, okay. Definite number. Some. You're right. I have. Okay. Yeah. Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Right. Some plural. Okay. Okay. Karina, it's your two. Number two. How? Uh huh. I think it's how because talk about the participants. Uh, some. When do you? Of, of the participant <laughs> in the testing group has not arrived yet. Pienso, pienso, no estoy seguro. Uh -huh. Hay que cambiar, ¿verdad? Think? Teacher. Yes, Cari. Tell me, please. Uh, René, René asked about if we change the, the form or switch the the context or just uh, choose an answer you have to choose only choose an answer ah okay yes choose the answer the correct option the ones that are yellow mm -hmm. you have to choose one of the of them okay some one is singular some is some is plural. Some is plural. Okay. Some of the participants in the testing group. I think is half. Is are the no. Bueno. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test are the chaka. Como se dice eso, teacher? Characteristics. Car characteristics. How many factors are you talking about? How many factors? How many factors? One, right? One. One, One. factors. One. So what is that? Plural or singular? Plural. Is. Is. One is singular. Is. Uno de los factores. Uno de los factores. Is single. Uh -huh. Uno. One. One of the factors is is. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. I understand. The tree is Excellent. plural, ¿verdad? A number of customer. A number of plural. customers. A number of Cost cost customers. Customers. Ah, okay. it's, it's plural. Uh -huh. Satisfied, uh -huh, exactly. With the performance of the new map, new map. and lack of the knowledge. Some is some, some is, mm -hmm. is is a sing for me it's a singular. I know some is uh, some is plural, my friend. Some uh -huh. is algunos, algunos. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's plural. Okay. When, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, so some of the common reflex a lack of knowledge. Reflex. Mm -hmm. A lack of knowledge. Okay. Uh, Carla, uh, we're look at number eight. Number eight. Many of the arguments um, lack. Solid mm -hmm. bases, right? Or bases. Mm -hmm. So many is plural or singular? 
Uh, and yes, they are singular, but okay. they use a S to describe a, a third person. I I think is oh, well, a number of comments suggest that the fragrances of the candle is the best of cha characteristic. Okay. So, what do you say? Every time that you use a number, you use plural verbs, right? Because it's an indefinite number. A number of customers are. Uh, a number of customers are. A number of comments suggest. Uh, the S doesn't reflect plural. The S is, um, let's say, singular. In this case, the S in the verb is singular. I mean, it's an inflection, it's an inflection that is indicating third person, never plural. Okay. Well, we continue. Who's the next? Uh, in the second word, suggest. Un número de comentarios sugieren. No, my friend. What do you say? A number is always plural, right? A number is always plural. It's an indefinite. Uh, it's an indefinite number. So, a number of comments suggest. The S. It's an inflection. This is singular. So this is plural. A number of comments suggest or a number of customers are satisfied with the performance. So a number of customers are in a, num a number of comments suggest. It's plural in both sentences. In both sentences, always. A number of is always plural. Uh, the number five is plural, teacher, a majority of testers. Also is plural, yes, a majority. Notice that doesn't say the majority, it says a majority. Okay, um, also when you say the number of is singular. The number of is singular. Number four, the first is singular. Why? We have the first, the second, the third of many, but we're talking about one. One is the first, so it's singular, right? The first of the suggestions I want to implement is, okay, that would be the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends. So. Aha, uh -huh, it's, pl it's plural. It's plural, aha. Uh -huh. A number okay, is plural. So a number no. is always, always plural, number six or number three, plural, right? A sí. number of comments suggest. With the S, is, the S is an inflection for third person, but it doesn't mean plural, it is singular. Only pull it and put it on top of this. Uh -huh. Number six is with, without S. Without S, because it's plural. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yep. Mm. Okay. In and nine. Oh, what I hate. Uh, what I hate about having many different experts. Okay, here you can say the thing. The thing I hate about having many different experts. The thing. One, one thing. One, one, brother teacher. Is. Uh -huh. Is. Yeah. Okay. The same as number 10. Every time that you begin with what, what -da 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 -da, is the thing she said uh -huh. about the products is wrong. Ah, oh, and he using the thing she said about the products was. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. <laughs> they put singular, singular, and singular, but no. Okay. Is 
Because it's past tense, what she said about them. Even though, if she said it in the past, but it prevails, you consider that it's wrong. But what was? A teacher number five is has. A majority of tester. No, a majority of tester is plural. It's okay, have. Ah, okay. It's okay, have. It's similar to a number of. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Do you take sure? Uh, uh, are acceptable. Okay. Okay. Number twelve. Every one of those books. Uh, is. Fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. Yes, everyone is singular. Every one of two books is fiction. Mm -hmm. Fiction, yes. Everyone, everyone. Uh -huh, is singular. Um, well, next round, Carla, number 13. Nobody knows the trouble I have seen. Okay, nobody knows the trouble I've seen because nobody is singular. We have to use knows, knows. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, number 14. Okay. Mm. Is the news of on a five or six? Mm -hmm. News is like you can see in the watch. Uh, Ignacio, number 50. Number 15, yeah. Uh -huh. Mathematics are don't favorite subjects. Um, mathematics is singular, it's a subject. Okay, is the mathematics is don't <laughs> favorite subject while yes. six. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, what is what is race? What? I, I don't know. How do you say thing? Okay, continue. Choose the correct form of the verb that agrees with the subject. One. Annie and her brothers is hard at school. Annie and her brothers are at the school. Ah, uh, see, sí. yes. The next one. Out of school. Up to school. Out of school. Mm -hmm. Pedrina, you can continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, who is the next? I don't know, remember. <laughs> Number two. Two. Yes, two. Eating my mother, mother, mother or my father eh, is our is con, coming today meeting is coming to the meeting uh -huh. it's singular right because either singular it's uh, okay, uh, okay it's choice maybe my mother or my father but not the two only one uh, okay so either means ya sea ajá o ajá ya sea uh, o mi papá uh -huh. ajá in Spanish we say vendrán but in English it's vendrán because we're talking about only one either my mother or my father is coming to the meeting uh -huh. okay. okay entonces sería José you can continue in this case the dog or the cat yeah. Are, are 
Yes. In the case of the dog or the cat, cats is plural, right? Mm -hmm. so you say the dog or the cats are outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. The correct is are outside. Are outside, yes. The okay. dog or the cats are outside. If we were like the dog or the cat is outside, but, or if it were the cats or the dog is outside, because mm. dog okay. is cats are. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can continue with the next one. Either my shoes or your. It's it. It's it in the UTR. Okay. Number five. Yeah. George and Tamara don't want to see that movie. No. Why? Uh, George and Tamara don't, don't want to see. Yes, I don't. Don't want to see. Plural. But yeah. is it three person, George and Tamara? No, it's two person. Doesn't. No, three person no. is he, she. It's they. The thing they. is, when you connect with and, you have one plus one equals two. Two is plural. Yeah. One person. Okay. Tamara is another person. No, so no, no, tercera persona. <laughs> yeah. No, tres personas, tercera. Tercera persona del plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, okay. No, it doesn't. Ajá, uh -huh, no. no it's don't. Don't. It's don't. Don't. Because it's they. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. George and Tamara don't want to see that movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Benito doesn't. Now the answer. Perfect. Karina? Karina. Seven. One of my sisters is going on a trip to France. Yeah. Yes. Danny? No, uh, eight? Eight. Mm -hmm. eight. 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 The man wish we, we have the beer lie on the street. Lives. Lives. Lives people. Third person. Yeah. He lives. 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 Thanks. Lives. <laughs> Thank you. The man with all the birds, birds, the man with all the birds live. I mean lives in that case. We're talking about one man lives on that street. Mm -hmm. The right okay. lives. Lives. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, number nine, the movie, including all the previews, they nobody, nobody, nobody knows, nobody knows the trouble I seen. No, nobody knows. Oh, no. Sin ese. Nobody is an indefinite pronoun and it's singular. Nobody knows. Everybody knows, nobody knows, somebody knows. All of them are singular. Es, es plural, teacher. No, my friend, the yes doesn't the yes doesn't represent plural. The yes is a distinction for the third person. He knows, ah, okay. he knows, is an inflection, means a change that you add to the verb to represent third person singular. That's in but in this case is with S. With an S because it's singular. Yes, in the verb doesn't represent plural. Only in the nouns, like 
Mango, mangoes, the S is plural. But in the verb, no, the S is an inflection for the first person that means that is singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, take, take a picture. Thanks, teacher. Welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Do you take picture? Aaron, his wife, Wilma, was the guest of honor in the park. Aaron, mm, together with his wife, Wilma, uh, is singular or plural? It's plural. It's plural. Word. Word. Okay, we use word, the case of honor of the party. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, your turn. Okay. Okay. Wizard is always also full to handle a small object. Mm. Hey, hey, Rudy, the number four. The jury were not convinced by the limited evidence. Were not the jury were not convinced by the limited evidence. And mm. honest, I don't know what is jury. Jury. The jury is the one that is in court, and it decides if the person is innocent or guilty. Ah, okay, I remember, yeah, I got it. Okay, so in that case, we use was. The jury was not convinced by the limited evidence. The jury is, uh, okay. The jury were not convinced. No, was. The, the jury in this case, they are acting individually. Uh-huh. Everyone has a decision of his own. Therefore, as a group, they are plural. But, but in this case, it's a singular. Let me tell you like this. The jury is a group of people, usually seven people. So each of them takes an individual decision. So they are not acting as a unit. They are acting individually. So normally we have a group that is acting as a unit, we use a singular verb. But if we have a group that is acting individually, we use a plural verb. Okay, in this case, yes, it's true. I have seen the jury was That's uh -huh. correct. And also the jury were. It can be both. So could be both. The two are oh, okay. The two are correct. Oh, okay. that they, for example, the jury was not convinced. Maybe they were working together. They discussed together. And together they decided we uh -huh. was here. We don't know because we don't have a context, right? Uh -huh. so okay, okay. If we say we, we are saying that they acted individually, but if you say was, we are act, we're saying that they acted as a unit. The two are. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, but it depends on the context. It depends on the context. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay uh, number five. Who's turn? Uh, my, mine, right? Telling yeah. the truth always makes people truthful. 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 But it's no. Well, we continue with the uh, next one. Is are the new or not five or six? Uh, so, uh, is the news on at five or six? Mm -mm. Yeah. 
Yanira Guadalupe is. Are. I. Are. Are. No, eh, why? <laughs> uh, because you own at five or six, five or six. So in this case, is or are? I you say you say is the news of yes. at five or six. Yes, it's the news because uh, the five or six, it's not a... Uh, uh, news. news is uncountable. News means N is north, E is east, W mm. is west, and S means south. So it means that the information is collected from the four cardinal points. So it's global information, so it's news. It's news, it's news. Yes. Then? Thank you. Thank you. The next one, 15. Someone can read. Mathematics, mathematics, physics, uh, ethics, philosophy, etc., are the names of subjects. And as yeah. the names of subjects, they are always singular. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mathematics is John's favorite subject, while civics is Andrea's favorite subject. Yeah. Excellent. Sixteen. Sixteen. H dollar twenty three. Twenty three. The next page. Yes. 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 Twenty three. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's twenty. <laughs> the page twenty four. All the CDs, no, not 23. The sentence, 23. All no, the CDs, 24. If it then is one, no. are in this case. Oh, All the CDs, CDs. one. one. Are. Is in this case. Is in this case. No, because it's all the CDs. All the CDs, yes. All is todos. Yes. Todos is a group. So it's plural. Yeah. Teacher, related to the 22 sentence, the prime minister, together with the, his wife. Okay. Read the this is one of the sentences that I explained about the general, you remember? So if you move together with to the beginning, you can say together with his wife, the prime minister greets the press cordially. Okay. Present. Teacher, <laughs> and the aiding aiding. Number 18, pants is plural. Your pants? Plural. So your is pants are, are at the cleaner. At the... Peter, but in Spanish we say pantalón. But even uh -huh. here it's we pants. say pantalón. In Spain they say pantalones. Uh, uh, Los pantalones. In, 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 English, in English always is pants. In or pants. In English, it's always uh, pants because how many legs? How many two, legs? The, two legs. Two legs. Two. This one pant, this is the other pants. So we have pants. Always is plural. Yeah. Pair, normally, a pair of pants. A pair of pants is. A pair of jeans is. 
a pair of earrings is, but if you only say pants, plural. Pants are wet, okay? Your pants are, pants are no, but your pants are wet, okay? So more like that. A pair more. of pants is, is singular. A pair of pants is singular. A pair, okay. how many pairs? Um, One pair. Yeah. Singular. But pants, uh, plural. Jeans, okay. trousers, jeans, pants, the same as sandals. Yeah. We confuse sandals with flip flops. Yeah. The flip flops are made of genus balco, okay? Flip flops. But sandals are the ones that is where to go out, okay? Con tirita de cuero, right? So, sandals. Flip flops? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. The flip flops to take a shower. Sandals are the ones that, okay. Jesus Christ wore sandals and the Roman empires wore a type of sandals with a lot of strips of leather up to the knees. Okay, so sandals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sandals, plural. Flip-flops, plural. But you say a pair of sandals, singular. A pair of flip-flops, singular. Singular, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, the next page, Danny. Next page. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> two, two minutes. Two minutes for the, the finish of class. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call roll right now. Ahí van, ahí van medio, ¿verdad, Karina? Okay. Perdón, se me activó. Don't worry. Okay. Um, let me see tonight who stays with me tonight. Alexander Bonilla, okay, Man Marvin Alexander Bonilla, okay, yes, yes, let me see, let's call roll, um, Ana Selmi Chavez, present teacher, excellent, Ana Delmi Teresa de Guzman, okay, Dani Anthony Siguenza, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Nice. Very good. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Okay. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Norberto Velasquez. Present teacher. It's very good. 
Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Very good. Now, Karina, Be Karina Elizabeth Villera. Present teacher. Nice niñita. Ok. Eh, María Emma Catalina de Rosales. Ok. She didn't come today. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Pedrina. Present Ibe teacher. Excellent. Very good. Pedrina. Ok. Eh, Pamela Beatriz Posada. Yes. Posada. Present. <laughs> sounds like from Chalate. Ok. Not present. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Present, present. Excellent. Yes. I saw your forehead. Ok. Eh, Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, teacher. Nice. Yes. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Excellent, teacher. Excellent. Very good. And Rudy Cosue Flores. Present, teacher. Absolutely nice. Very good. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you very much. Okay, my friends. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to send you the answers to go over the answers, but I'm going to send you the answers for you to have, okay? If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the chat, okay? Thank you very much for attending. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye and see bye. you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Let's put this in the waiting room. Okay. Marvin. Good evening, my friend. What can, how can I help you? What things do you have problems with right now? Uh, the use uh, each uh, each one the they creo que es el siguiente, verdad? Mm -hmm. Eso de eh eh creo que es el el otro. Y de ahí van los otros, verdad? Some somebody eh, anybody nobody Pero los primeros son los que no entiendo cuándo se usan. Ok, excelente. I'm going to use my board. Let me share with you. Let's see. Let's use my board here. Ok, you have doubts. Hey, finish the board. Finish the board. I'm going to be sending you the board tonight after class. And I'm going to get another board. Ok. Let me see, let's begin. I'm going to start here, I think, because of space. Mm. Each, let's begin with each. Each, One. each plus a singular noun. Singular. Singular noun. Okay, therefore, because of this, you say each man, each woman, each country, each country, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously, obviously, because you are using each man has, because man is singular. The phrase is singular. Each man has, each woman knows, each country. The reference is one. Yeah. Each country needs. Okay. Um, each one. Okay. You say, I saw. I saw my three friends in Metro Centro. I gave each one an envelope. 
I gave each one an envelope. One for you, one for you, one for you. Each one. Okay. One. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, every. Every plus a singular noun. Okay, and then you say, every man, every woman, every country. And then you say, sorry, here is. They, they are equal, teacher. They are similar. But they similar. are similar, but different. Okay. For example, each of them in Spanish are trans, I mean, each of them is translated in the same way in Spanish. You say each cada, every cada, translated in the same way. But in English, they are different. Okay. Each talks about a, a group of a reduced group that you know exactly how many they are. Like for example, I have five turtles. Each one has a name. I have five turtles, five. I have five, five turtles. Each one has a name, okay? Each one of my turtles has a name, but if you use, if there is a line, line of people, you don't know how many they are, you use every, every man, every. woman and child will get the flu shot. Every man, woman and child. Okay, because you don't know, like every day, every day, don't know how many days you have. You know that after one day, another comes and another comes. How many are they? We don't know. One day we die and the day's finished. But we don't know when. It's indefinite in that case. So every day, every year, every month, every, okay? Because we don't know. But, but we have the other one. We use, we say each of them. We cannot say every of them. We say each of them. Every, you have to say every one of them. Every cannot take off. Each of, okay? And another difference is every can be negative. Each, no. Not every, not every person thinks in the same way. Not every person thinks in the same way. It's positive. No, it's negative, negative. It's negative. It's negative, not every, N-O-T, not. Not every person thinks in the same way, but you cannot say not each. That doesn't exist, not each. But you can say not every, okay? And remember, each, okay, uh, there are 50 people in the room. Each person will get a pen. Each person will get a pen. 50 people. Okay. Now then, okay. there is a line of people outside. Every person will get a pen. How many are they? Don't know. Okay. Every Every person will get a pen. This, this is rules. These are rules. Sure. These are rules for this. Okay. Either. Either man. Either, either man. Sorry. Hey, what happens here? Okay. This is funny. Okay. Let's see. We say like this, 
every man can help me. Every man, sorry, either man can help me means this one or the other, but only one. Either means ya sea este o el otro, okay? Either, only one, okay? Negative, we say neither. Neither, uh, neither man can come. Neither man can come. Neither man can come. Neither is ninguno. Ninguno de los dos. Neither is ninguno de los dos. Neither man can come. Ninguno de los dos hombres puede venir. Okay. okay this is singular. Neither man because come, come. neither is zero. Okay, let's use one that you say like this. Either, either mom, either parent, either parent um, picks up the certificate. Notice, oh, missing a C, okay. So either parent picks up the certificate. Uno de los dos padres recoge el certificado. Uno de los okay. dos, the, the father, the mother, one. Anybody. Yeah, exactly. And here, neither, ninguno. Eh, Neither man knows the truth, okay? Neither man knows the truth. Ninguno de los dos hombres conoce la verdad. Neither man knows the truth. Okay, these are some of the ones, okay. What was another question that you had? No, no, teacher. The, the day is question clear right now. Okay. Excellent. Then, my friend. Thanks, uh, teacher. You're welcome. I take a picture. Uh, oh, okay. I will send you the I will send you this to your WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp, so you can download it. Okay. Yes, I will send it to you right now. When we finish, okay. I'll send it immediately. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much for staying. Okay. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Do the Good homework. Night. Do the homework, and uh, in the WhatsApp, this will be waiting for you. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for staying. Bye bye. Bye bye.